Hi guys and welcome back to the Climbing Daily Wednesday News Show. Today it's just me, myself and I since Hugo unfortunately is sick and Matt is out bouldering in a jungle somewhere. So on today's show we've got Jakob Schubert, Adam Ondra and Alberto Gines Lopez climb the Eiger North Face. The latest technology in tattoos that will make you send your hardest project the unbelievable 9B plus first ascent of Chris Sharma, and stay tuned for all the latest Epic TV deals. Obviously, a couple of those were April Fool jokes, but my favorite one, I gotta say, it was a meal with 27 crags because I saw that video and I actually fell for it. Activate power screen and go left hand. Bizarre! Well done. Now grab the jug and mantle outright. Right, let's get on with the news since Chris Sharma, the legend himself, climbed Sleeping Lion. In an exclusive interview on Climbing.com, Sharma tells his story to conquer his second 9B plus in his career. Chris obviously needs no introduction, as he was the first person in the world to climb a 9A plus with a realization or biography. Then he traveled around the world in search of king lines, putting up iconic routes such as Espontas and subsequently climbing the first 9B in the world in 2008 with his ascent of Jumbo Love. Chris bolted and has been working on Sleeping Lion since October 2021. The climb is located at the El Pati sector in Sirana, home to many of the world's hardest climbs. He worked extensively on the route in the previous seasons, but he wasn't able to complete it. So, in November of 2022, he went back on it, engaged a different gear, and by March this year, he fell at the upper crux 16 times. But finally, he was able to clip the chains on the 28th of March, almost 10 years to the date from his first 9B+, La Dura Dura. I recommend reading the full interview on climbing.com. He talks about his life, climbing philosophy, and how he balanced everything out, like having a gym, family, and actually being fit to climb a 9B plus route. I gotta say, I can't wait to see the new King Lions video, which I guess will come out soon, hopefully. So a big congratulations to Chris Sharma, and let's move on to some bouldering news from Switzerland, because there's some pretty good conditions and some pretty good climbers out there. As reported on 8a.nu, American rock climber Matt Fultz spent a whole month in Ticino and managed to repeat Aiden Roberts' Vecchio Leone Sit, an 8c plus in Brione. It's the first boulder of that grade that he climbs outside of the USA, and what drew him to it was its complex moves and positions. He climbed it in just eight sessions. Keeping up with the theme of direct variants on classic boulders, German climber Kim Marschner reports on Instagram that he made the first ascent of Peace Corps, an 8C, which is a direct version to Fight Club, an 8B+. And Giuliano Cameroni quickly did the second ascent of this boulder. Nice one, guys. However, I feel I haven't seen a mellow video in a while. I mean, that's probably because all the climbers are actually out there climbing. I feel something is cooking up and hopefully we'll see a mellow drop soon. Anyway, let's move on to some Alpine news from very close to home because there's a new route in the Agil up in Chamonix. As reported on planetmountain.com, Tom Livingston and Simon Welfringer made the first ascent of La Croissade on the Gil de Pelleran. The mixed climb shares the same start of Beyond Good and Evil, a modern classic made famous by Mark Twight's story in his book Kiss or Kill. Simon actually noticed this new roof while climbing Beyond Good and Evil and saw a roof suspended in the middle of the wall and wondered if there could be a route through it. So he teamed up with Tom and in a couple of days they put up La Croissade. The first pitches are of Beyond Good and Evil and then into Flamme de l'Enfer, then the new route of difficulties ranging from M5 to M7+. And the amazing roof crack pitch, they graded it at A1, but to free it, it would probably be around M9 or M10. And the last 100 meters are an easier terrain. On the article on planetmountain.com, Simon does mention how it would be a real challenge to go and free the whole route. Next, let's go to the 9A roundup. But we also have a special story from Claudia Ghisolfi, who's coming back from injury with an 8C. As reported on 8a.nu, Claudia Ghisolfi has been a bit unlucky over the past years due to a couple of injuries. Just last October, she took a bad fall and fractured her heel. But just five months later, she was able to climb Premiere, an 8C in Castelbianco in Italy. 
She comments that it's not a hard HC since when Stefano Ghisolfi, her brother, did it, he didn't use knee pads. French climber Jules Marchaland this year is in form. He climbed his first 9A plus in February, and now he made the second ascent of Just to Fix It, a 35 meter long 9A slush plus, first climb by Pierre Lecef. German climber Philipp Gassner clipped the chains of Trofeo dell'Adriatico, a route freed by Gabriele Moroni in January last year. The route is really cool, following some tufas, and it's quickly becoming a new classic, having seen a bunch of ascents this year. So, fun fact, uh, Jules is actually climbing with a toe sticking out of his shoe, since he had like an injury. It's quite funny to see just a toe sticking out of his shoe. And Pierre, the first ascensionist of the route, actually climbs with socks. So I feel there's a whole toe, shoe, socks theme going on with those two guys. But that's it for the news this week, which means it's 9B counter time. So, obviously, Chris Sharma gets four points for the first ascent of Sleeping Lion, and Toby on Instagram actually sent us a 9B online counter. So, thank you for that, Toby. So, it's Easter weekend this weekend. So on the Epic TV shop, we've got a bunch of deals going on. The first is that we have up to 50% of Patagonia everything, like backpacks, clothing. I do love my R1 red jumper. They make excellent, well, clothes. The second deal is of Rab and their whole collection is up to 30% off. And uh, I gotta say, a friend of mine is a down jacket fanatic and he looked up all the down jackets in the world and he concluded that some of the best down jackets are from Rab. So, off this friend's recommendation, if you need a down jacket, look for a Rab one. And the third deal, climbing technology clearance. So you'll find a bunch of climbing technology gear, new season is coming in, last year's gear needs to go out, so check out the clearance from climbing technology. For all those deals, there will be links down below. So just click on what you're interested in. Epic TV Media, this week we've got an exciting video coming out because the third installment of Women on the Wall, filmed by James Frey, is coming out this Thursday. So check out the teaser. Between Boulders and Borders will be out tomorrow and there's a link down to the Epic TV YouTube channel, so subscribe to that so you won't miss out on it. And this week on Climbing Daily, we've got an episode from Studio Block Masters and it's Matt and I just going around climbing, well, trying to climb a bunch of boulders and we tried to pick like the really cool, interesting, big volume ones. So check that out. Left toe. Okay, good. Right, okay, a on. tall person is giving Matt beta. So. <laughs> Was that the correct beta? I'm not sure, but I think you can do it like that. Maybe you should go left, left, and then right. There you go, left, left, then right. Terry, you better get landed on. Ale. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, oh, oh, that's... Wow, <laughs> there is the walk of shame. Studio Block was such a fun competition to go to. There are more videos coming of uh, interviews with pros, uh, more fun episodes of us climbing around. So subscribe to Climbing Daily since, you know, you're watching it. And uh, next up, we've got uh, comment of the week. So my comment is from Hasbert, and it's from five days ago. And he says, I'd love to see here Flo cut together a tennis match with Andra and Sharma screams overlaid. 
So Flo, who's behind your camera right now, thumbs up. So you're going to do a mashup of uh, Adam Ondra and, uh, and Chris Sharma playing tennis. I think the, the world, the internet needs that. If you think that as well, write it in the comments below. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.